Hello, Carl here with Sustainability Theory News. We're over at permaculturenews.org, and they have a very informative article about the basics of the soil profile or the soil horizons. They do talk about the scientific definitions, but we're going to go over the basics. So up top, you have the darker layers of soil. It's where the humic acids and the organic matter, they all break down. You want to have a good 20% organic matter in any farming environment. Now, Ideally, you can get a little bit higher, and the higher you get, the better it is. Earthworms will help break down some of the organic matter as well as um, fungi and beneficial soil microbes. Now, they also talk about the many layers of soil. Now, you can dig a hole all the way down to the bedrock to examine how thick your horizons are. Now, humus, or hummus, rather, <laughs> depending on how you want to pronounce it, uh, this is a really, really organic rich layer mostly found in peat bogs and deep forest environments as they mention here but humic acid is found in any healthy soil and the more you have the better it is for the plants it's rarely ever a foot thick as shown in this diagram uh, then you have topsoil which is common in most farming environments most home environments as well uh, grasslands and such then you have the subsoil very uh, clay filled silty some pebbles Aluminum, which is a very abundant mineral in our soil. So then you got weather rock frag fragments and then bedrock down at the bottom where you'd like to build skyscrapers off of, for example. And you know what? They go into the actual letters and scientific notations of these soil horizons. And, I, and of course, they have a bibliography for their sources. I'm going to link to this article in the description. And if you'd like to see more news headlines like this, subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.